Okay, so this is the video that everybody has been waiting for. I've been saying I'm going to drop this for the last week. Um, this is class. Connor Denning, um, one of our EO1 Perform clients. Uh, I'm going to run you through um, exactly how we've achieved the results we have so far with Connor. I'm going to show you where we started, where we are now, what's up next, and how we're going to go about doing that and making sure we guarantee we achieve the level of results we will. And basically, just breaking down the significance of every single phase. Um, and hopefully, you guys can then go away and replicate some of the processes that we've used within his results um, to deliver it. And you can get this sort of level of results with yourself. There's no reason everybody out there shouldn't be moving at this pace. People that say, oh, a physique journey is not linear. If it's not linear, you're not doing it fucking right. So, you know, um, honestly, the reason I create this is so simply... Hopefully, you get inspired at how fast you can turn your life around. This testimonial um, result was a 11-week process um, from the left and right you're about to see. And from a mindset perspective as well, uh, what it did within those three months was crazy. Now we're on to bigger, better goals. Um, but yeah, this, this was class. This started off as just a Let's get in some good shape. Let's see what we can do. I had a big vision from the onboarding call in terms of his potential. Um, but now, um, you know, kind of seeing for himself what this journey is all about. So, yeah, leveling up the physique, the mindset. We didn't know at the start, but now a business is in the mix for Connor uh, as, a result of the, as a result of the mindset leveling up, uh, the lifestyle leveling up 10x in all areas. So, let's get into it. Connor's journey so far, start position, okay? Now, Connor will be open with this. Um, we've spoken about this very closely, me and Connor. Um, at the start of the process, it, it was is lacking in confidence. It's very similar. I relate a lot to this because it's very similar to my own, my own journey in terms of lacking in confidence, low in energy. Not, he's not being depressed. But feeling depressed, feelings of depression, just feeling shit, basically. A lot of lads, you'll relate to this. No drive, no aspiration to succeed. Or if you do have some aspiration to succeed, you're not fucking doing anything about it. And there's a reason behind that. And that is what we've sorted within this transformation. So 11 weeks in these pictures right here, which is fucking insane. And this is just how fast you can turn your life around from a physical standpoint, but the real reason people start training and realize they want to continue training once they hit this level result is for the mindset and for the business and for the career, for the life, whatever comes out the back of it. So right now, very confident, energy, productivity through the roof, happiest he's ever been in all areas of life, family, in a new relationship, with friends, feeling fucking very driven and has even started a new business. And trust me, he's talked to me about this. We've discussed it together. Um, obviously, in EO1 Perform, it's about physique coaching, it's about peak performance coaching, and also just leveling up from a lifestyle perspective. So we do talk business if someone comes in um, with business ideas. Um, a lot of the time, our clients go from come in for a transformation as a transform client, and then realizing that they want a lot more from it um, and move into perform. Or, you know, we get the guys who come in, they've already got a business, they're already um, doing well in the career and they want to take it to that next level. But for us now, this is about optimizing Connor from a physique standpoint and taking this to the moon, but also taking this elite mindset that we've built in this phase and taking that to the moon so we can benefit in all areas as well. And look, without even imagine this weren't here and if we said which guy's more confident which guy's happier which guy's got better family life which <laughs> which guy's got better health it's fucking obvious so it's it's very important that we don't just numb our goals and and lower them if we're not hitting this level of results increase your goals but increase the investment we're putting in to make sure we get them out because 
life has changed very fucking fast for Connor uh, in this time frame. And this is the reason I do what I do. This is satisfying, right? Getting these results. Every client that comes into our coaching, we deliver elite results with. We're very results focused in a lifestyle sustainable way built around the client's life. However, when I hear clients, you know, especially within our perform program uh, or coming from transforming to perform and, and clients come for a, a transformation and then telling me how much more confident they're feeling, their energy, their productivity, their, how happy they are, how driven they are, how their career is going so much better, how they've started a new business, how they might be leaving their nine to five. Like this shit is fucking what gets me going because the reason I now train is to operate at the highest level and take my mindset to next level, keep learning. And yes, it's cool from a physique standpoint who doesn't wanna walk around looking like this, but what's in here off the back of this is what's fucking sick. Now, the goals are massively expanded and so they will when you become someone like this. So we're now satisfied with this, happy, but we're not settled and that's a good thing. It's commonly mistaken. You can be happy and always chasing more. Okay, high performers are happy people, but they want more just because they know what they're capable of. It's not that the happiness is attached to the goal. They get to a level, they become very happy. They become very satisfied with where they are, but they just, they're not settled. They know they can keep going for more. That's a really good trait to have. Gratitude for where you are once you've achieved a result. Don't have gratitude with your physique when you're in shit shape. That's really important as well because that's what society is putting on people. No it. Oh, be happy being fat. No, we want to get in the best shape ever. Appreciate the hard work we've done, the results we've got, but then keep pushing for more. But what we find is pushing for more usually then comes from a physique, uh, sorry, from a mindset standpoint. Future goals now. Build a pro card level men's physique. Plans to compete. So we're going to be taking this to the absolute moon now. So this has come from... I just want to feel a bit better. I want to get toned. I want to get some muscle definition to me saying on the call, really? You've got more in the tank than this, bro. Just trust me. Ride with me. Commit to the process. We'll take you to the moon. He's done that. He's been coachable. He's committed to the process and his goals and his visions leveled up. Build, his, build and scale his new business is a big priority. It's obviously peak performance. Um, and building his personal brand off the back of that and that will now be huge. Uh, using his physique using his presence, using his pretty face uh, in order to do that um, and continue taking his mindset to new heights. Every single day, it can go to new heights. You know, a lot of people will say, oh yeah, I've got the mindset, I just don't have the physique. Well, you can have a good mindset, but when your physique gets to the top level, you, you don't know what you don't know from a mindset perspective is what I will say. So phase one of the transformation, I'm gonna run through the four micro phases explained in terms of this result. So this was four micro phases through an 11 and a half week period. Phase one, priming phase, set the baseline, optimize. So we optimize performance, energy, recovery. Imagine Connor, before he started with us, nothing was optimized. Routine weren't there. Nutrition was there, thereabouts, but it weren't optimized for Connor. Nor was his training, nor was his supplementation, nor was his recovery. So what we did is we brought him in at what I call baseline priming, helps us optimize his gut health, his hormones, his sleep, his recovery. And from there, we can get his performance in the gym through the roof. We can get his energy through the roof. We can get his recovery through the roof. So cortisol down, water retention out. This basically means we're in a better position, okay, to solidify tissue, lose body fat, lose inflammation. And as opposed to inputs and outputs of training and nutrition like this, we're on a solid baseline. And what that does is, yes, we're optimized internally, which has a huge impact, but from there, what now happens is, because we're on a solid baseline, when we want to enter that prep phase and we make an amendment from a solid baseline, we go, dung, your body is like throwing darts. If we're on this wavy line and we say we're gonna go there, your body does not know what the fuck is going on we come from this solid line and we go bang, it is like throwing a dart at bullseye. It will respond. And then we box off that phase, bang. And we keep going through that process. So priming phase sets your body up for success. And it's what actually allows you to be able to get into elite condition. Far too many people pull too fast, 
there's no scope to play with performance energy recovery all get depleted and they may lose quite a bit in week one week two and then they're just stuck you can never get into elite shape let alone building tissue in a diet phase and delivering elite condition so we boxed off phase one we then went into prep phase where we got more fat loss focused obviously managing appetite through the process and also building his training out around building on those aesthetics building on the proportions setting the foundation how i see what we've done so far is just building the foundation people may see that as like a lifelong goal physique and you know so they should but that's just the foundation for connor in 11 weeks so we built tissue we've lost body fat we've optimized him internally and then we peaked it he had a quick holiday away um hideout so we washed off fatigue um, we used a mixture of protocols such as refeeds deloads um, where we can increase glycogen storage, increase intramuscular fullness, wash out subcutaneous water, and really just peak that physique. Once we'd done the dirty work, really, we set himself up for success with priming. We went through the prep phase, we peaked him, and then we just started reversing him back out, and we're actually continuing with this phase right now um, as we then progress on into other phases. But the reverse phase really is just to push density back into the physique, replenish all lost glycogen from the prep phase because there is a saying you know get flat or stay fat and that's just because as we start working down we want fats in a position where they don't really come below baseline because we want to optimize hormones such as testosterone we need sufficient protein for uh, muscle protein synthesis to actually allow us to build tissue in a fat loss phase so carbohydrates end up getting sacrificed slightly in the bottom end of a prep phase um, dependent on how aggressive we've got to go um and where expenditure is um so obviously as they're lower you need glycogen you need water and we need sodium for intramuscular fullness as glycogen is less in the bottom of that prep phase it means that we've got less intramuscular fullness we can still be building tissue but the actual fullness the balloon effect is going to be lower so we replenish that in that reverse phase we build his maintenance calories back up uh, we solidify new tissue get more performance focused uh, and really reap the rewards. So they're the first four phases we've really boxed off. Um, baseline priming prep, peak reverse. Uh, currently running through a bit of a maintenance like recomp phase. Um, it's really good to like, once you've di di basically dived into great shape, it's really good that you learn to actually sustain that. Far too many people go bulk, cut, bulk, cut. And that is just a really mentally poor way to go about things as well as neurologically and physically from a result standpoint um, what you want to do is reverse back out drive yourself back to a position where you can sustain maintenance and hold that physique but with just improved performance you can solidify new tissue there you can improve your health markers again and now with connor we're going to be going through two big positive energy drive phases um, again we're more sensitive to insulin now we're better at partitioning nutrients now which means we can stay leaner we can move at optimal rate of gain, solidifying new tissue week on week, keeping body fat very low, keeping inflammation on the body very low by managing digestion and recovery uh, and food sources and just keep solidifying new tissue. And the goal now will be over the next uh, nine months to at least solidify another six to six to seven kilos of lean mass uh, onto, onto this frame. Uh, maximizing the proportions that we need from a men's physique standpoint so we'll be driving up positive energy drive phase i do want to remind you guys that i don't work in the forms of like bulks and off seasons we go through performance blocks and positive energy drives where we're in a energy drive where we are slightly above maintenance at times um but we're not in a huge surplus and we're not just fucking losing all focus Far too many people drop structure with training. They drop execution with training. They drop execution with nutrition. Far too many poor food choices and they just gain a ton of body fat. Then they've got longer to diet back. They're gonna lose muscle mass and they actually just look the same when they come back around and they just neglect it. This here, like this was building the foundation and it's elite what we've done here, but this is where the magic is gonna happen. This is gonna be an absolute mutation in this phase. So we're going to absolutely blow them out of the water, solidify a lot of new tissue. At the top of this drive phase, he'll be no more than 13% body fat, 14% body fat. Uh, whereas from a start position, you know, 
north of 20% body fat. So it's really important that you manage, you get in the best position here, and then you work through that with structure um, throughout, because this is, this is what really um, takes physiques to the next level, having the structure in this phase and getting in the best position to here, because, you know, going into, let's say a bulk phase now, and people do it too wrong, they go eight weeks really aggressive eating whatever, 12 weeks and they gain so much body fat, they're barely gaining tissue because of their insulin sensitivity and their partitioning effect. And then they've got a diet again and all of a sudden they're back in a negative energy drive. And that's like not productive. It's counterproductive towards building tissue. We've got him optimized to grow as well as looking shit hot. And now this means we can stay in maintenance, holding phases, positive drive phases for the majority of the coming 12 months now, which is ridiculous because this is where, you know, it's about length of time in a steady surplus. People, too many people are chasing chasing the size overnight. It's about the quality, not just mass on the scales, because mass on the scales is most likely just body fat, water and glycogen. So this is all about quality now, and we've got them in a position where it will be. Um, and then we're gonna dive into a competition prep. So it's pretty cool stuff. So that's what we've done so far. That's how we executed it, why we've done what we've done, and the strategy moving forwards. Key areas of focus, um, you know, I, di I dial this into four now. Um, elite physique, obviously, four initial microphases, priming prep, peak reverse, like we just said. Training program, uh, five times a week, built around enhancing his proportions. So obviously, training volume per muscle group, um, all proportioned around where we actually want the ratios of, ratios of his physique to develop at different paces to actually craft the exact shape of his physique exercise profiles that are gonna be best suited to doing that with his frame. Training volume optimized to enable progressive overload to build tissue whilst recovering and losing body fat. And obviously a big part of elite physique development is optimizing gut health. Because obviously the better our gut health, the better we can absorb the nutrients that we actually put in. And the more we can absorb, the more we can use them. This will have a huge impact on it. From a mindset perspective, sleep routine, sleep schedule, optimize nutrition and gut health, obviously, from a uh, happiness perspective, from a dopamine perspective, um, everything's gonna come from your gut, but then also from, from fueling it with good foods, but then also as a byproduct of confidence and getting in an elite physique, obviously, his mindset's gonna level up as well. Stacking small wins is the best way you can build confidence, hands down. So it's not all about you know where you are now, but a lot of high performers, and there's a lot of studies on this, gain confidence from knowing where they will be. And then knowing that, not with arrogance, but knowing that they're doing everything. Small wins on small wins on small wins. Don't build your confidence on results, build your confidence on actions. Losing body fat and building tissue daily is obviously gonna help, like we said, from a confidence perspective. Um, vision expanding week by week, and so it will, because we're optimizing him from the inside as well as optimizing him from the outside. And obviously then when you optimize from the outside, that then comes back around as positive feedback and you are gonna level up. Your self-worth goes up, your respect goes up, your authority goes up. You demand more from yourself when you become a certain person. And this is why you start leveling the fuck up as well as all the habits that are implemented from a discipline and routine standpoint with developing a physique, that can then be implemented into all areas of your life. And you're gonna start thinking, this is, I've got these traits, and now I can just apply them anywhere. And you are gonna expand your vision and know what your capabilities are. Straight talking approach to get the results as well. So obviously from my end, I'm a very supportive figure, but I'm also very straight talking. Um, Connor's been very coachable through the process, and I just tell him it as it is. That's as simple as it is. My job is to get results. From a programming perspective, we give our clients absolutely everything they need to get that, but a huge part about getting results is mindset. And it's my job and my duty to get everything out of our clients. And with Connor, you know, just being straight talking, saying it as it is, um, real straight talk. Let's do the work, but let's enjoy it. Let's have gratitude. Um, and, and just working him through the process and, and seeing him level up mentally is levels. And, and Connor's really witnessed that within himself as well, which is always really good to see, not just from my perspective, but then when I've got, you know, I'm interacting with Connor and 
a lot of self-realization on how far you've come is is really important lifestyle mastery sustainable approach from a meal plan perspective so obviously mate, these have got to work with your lifestyle results only come when you've got something that works so consistent for you so every client we coach has everything built in a different way it's all around your lifestyle for every problem there's always a solution so you know, around your work, around where your training may be, around how, how, how your frequency can be, around your likes, your dislikes, around possible deficiencies in your body. We, we take everything into account and we build it so it's easy. Our job is to make everything easier for our clients. So it takes the thinking away from everything. We don't want Connor to have to think about what is training. We don't want Connor to have to think about what his nutrition is. We don't want Connor to have to think about how to manage certain things. Everything is provided for his circumstances for where his body is, for what result and outcome we're working on that specific week. And then he can just execute, makes everything easier. And when everything's easy, it means that we're consistent and consistency to an optimized program brings results. Managing social events um, with a strategy to do that. Same with meals out. Uh, and then now from a career standpoint, as a, as a byproduct of the mindset, expanding the vision, using traits developed from fitness for 10X in the career. Um, he's got a new side hustle on the go now that's not my job to go and blurt out what that is um, but trust me it will be fucking levels and you will see connor dropping this huge business um, down the line i know where connor will go not just from a physique standpoint from, but from a career standpoint just from the level of his progression and the level of self-investment he has from a time perspective from a willingness to learn to educate himself to be coachable and listen, to invest financially in himself and understand that that's a priority to moving forward. Investment is you give and you get back tenfold. That is the def that is what investment is, right? Um, achievement roadmap process, um, which is a process within our um, EO1 Perform, which just guarantees that like, if you follow our achievement roadmap process, it guarantees that like, it would be so unreasonable for you to not achieve your goal like it guarantees you're going to achieve your goal it's a strategy that i have worked with some elite mentors in the past on and the fact that i'm this is in our um year one perform program i mean that in itself pays for like and more um but for me i would be doing my clients an injustice if i know this trick of the achievement roadmap process not to provide that and that is huge Time management and routine building, and then network as well. Obviously, within um, Elect One and creating his own network as well with the skills. So, here is what Connor has to say. At the start of this year, I was lost. I was in a very dark place mentally and letting myself go physically as a result of this. And I think a lot of people can probably relate with this. I knew there was something that needed to be done to pull me out of the rut I was in because I couldn't live that way anymore. Junk food, eating for pleasure, missing weeks worth of training, awful sleep patterns. And I approached Tom to help coach me through the next few months of my, of my life to help reorganize and structure my messy habits and inconsistencies. These last few months have changed my life. And this is where all praise comes. I approached Tom to help coach me. Now, a lot of people, when they get into this position, they don't want the help. They want the help, but they're not willing to consciously step forward and consciously make things happen. Think People think things are going to fall on them, that all of a sudden they're going to have the best physique, the best life, the career, the mindset, and they just wait, and they chase instant gratification, and then their baseline drops below, and they chase more instant gratification, their baseline drops below. Now, the only way you're going to raise your baseline, you're actually going to feel good, you're actually going to achieve things, is by investing in yourself, putting yourself through discipline of self-improvement to raise your baseline daily. And that's exactly what Connor did. And it was a big move from Connor. And he understood that it has to be a conscious decision. If you don't make that conscious step, it will never happen. So you've got to ask yourself, how long and how much pain have you got to experience for you to not actually move forward? I've learned that the more you disagree with your mind in terms of, I can't be bothered with gym today, I'm too tired, I don't feel like it, along with other negative thoughts, the more absolutely resilient you become. You gain control over your mind from the discipline and respect you gain for yourself and therefore your body. You call the shots. 
and I'm a big, big fan of this. I always say to my clients, you tell your body what the fuck you're gonna get it to do, right? Your mind will always try and play battles. And now you have got to tell it what it's gonna fucking do. And that is where people level the fuck up. Completely transformed my physique and became the most physically and mentally fit version of myself I've ever been. And now look forward to becoming better every day, every week, every month, every year. So complete outlook on, cha- on life is just absolutely 10x. Visions expanded. And that just came from a result of committing. I remember our first call, me and Connor, and I was like, he said he wanted to be a bit leaner. He lacked self-belief. I, I was telling him where he could be. And he was like, really? Do you think? I was like, Connor, bro, let's just commit. You've, I've got you. I've got you, bro. Let's fucking go. You don't, need, you don't need to know exactly right now how this is going to happen. But I know this can happen, and it's my duty to make this happen for you. Let's fucking get it, bro. And he says, yeah, bro, I'm in. 12 weeks in, 11 and a half weeks in, 10 times beyond where I even thought it could be. And that's just from committing and making conscious action. There's no looking back. I use my sadness, anger, self-doubt, and any other negative emotions to fuel my workouts. And now all I can see is positives. And that's what it's all about. And that's something I relate with. You know, uh, any place where you used to hate, any sadness, any self-doubt, that's what fuels you. And that's what raises that baseline. So here's a few other results. Obviously, here's another result of um, another image of Connor. Um, this was actually the one we dropped on, on the Instagram um, before he went away. I think this was like 10, 11 weeks in um, before his holiday. This was ridiculous. Um, outstanding work. Obviously, Connor's not our only, not our only client. Um, here, Keith, Josh, Sam, Battling cancer, coming out with the absolute rig. Ollie Thompson, um, with huge physique development. Uh, every, you know, everyone's got different goals. Some people are career focused, and it's just about optimizing performance, energy, um, as well as the transformation. Some people are just here for the transformations, men mentally as well. Um, like obviously going for a huge cancer battle here and coming out like a machine. Keith, Josh, Sam, Ollie, Maddie. Connor, again, Louis, this one was fucking huge. Again, this was very similar to Connor. Huge mental um, shift coming from the worst position to the best position in just matters of a few months. Ellie, absolutely class, recent result. Scott, another big one. Tom, Reese, Jake. There's so many. On here, there's just a few. So what I want to say, guys, is like, look, your options moving forward is like, look, this is what Connor's just done. And like with me seeing what Connor's done, I just want to run you through like, guys, this this is possible for anybody if you take the action. Now, obviously you can go away. You can use what we just run through here to try and apply it to yourself and move forward. But what I do want to just say is, guys, I'm going to give you the opportunity to just, if you want to, potentially look at joining our team or just getting more information about how we are delivering this level of results with our clients. Every single client that joins our team coming out with elite results, obviously with the processes, with the systems we have in place um, and the standards we set for everyone. You know, this is more than just physique transformations for everyone. But the thing is, you know, the online coaching out there is a big game. Um, You know, generic online coaching setting off with no structure or clarity in what will be achieved. Copy and paste the training nutrition plans, not specific to the body, or the lifestyle, unsustainable approaches. Um, you know, the amount of times I hear um, clients that have joined us and they've been with coaches before and they say, oh yeah, they always just given like a bodybuilder plan and it just didn't work for me. I couldn't stick to it. If you, like, guys, this has to be built around your lifestyle, what you enjoy. If you're wanting to transform your life, this isn't something you just do for, for like eight weeks and then you just ping back to your old self. This means that you are going to be better week on week for the rest of your life. And if that's going to be the case, it's got to be, it's going to make your life easier, not harder. And that's one big thing we're about. Coaches who don't walk the walk of the physique, high performance and lifestyle. You know, anyone that knows me knows I walk the walk with my physique from a performance perspective. Um, and then also from a lifestyle perspective. I live, I run business, I live, 
I like a cheeky beach club, you know, I like my meals out. And the strategies we use are so sustainable and they're what I use myself to develop the best physique, the best performance, and still have the best lifestyle. Um, and I think it's very important that if you ask yourself the question, would I want to live the lifestyle that the coach has and how they've achieved their results? If the answer to that is no, because you don't want to be that person just eating from um, preps and going to restaurants and not being able to order food because your coach doesn't, I mean, that's not going to be sustainable. It's not going to be life transforming for you. So that's really important. Extreme approaches to try and get results. You know, anyone can say there's 1200 calories, let's lose some body fat, but it's it's just going to run you in the floor, cause you yo-yo, um, eating disorders, everything like that. Winging it tactics, cookie cutter approaches, uh, and, and no person to person communication or not, not a very personal level and interactive support level. So elect one for us is all about everything I would want and everything a client genuinely needs. You know, this is this is this isn't just online coaching. I don't even like to call this online coaching. This elect one is it's it's a, its own industry in my eyes. It is just everything that has to be a non-negotiable that's actually going to transform lives. This is all about impact. I want every client to come to me with the left and right image. Yes, that's for granted, but I want them to all come to me and say, Tom, you've literally changed my life. You and your team have worked with me and I couldn't have felt any better. You know, my life's upgraded, my vision's upgraded, I'm better with my family, better with my friends, better in my career, better in my lifestyle. I want bigger things, I demand more for myself. I'm in better health, I look the best, I'm the most confident, that's what it's all about. So, from the very start, we build a custom roadmap to a specific result with your, with your physique, with your performance, health, and lifestyle. We do performance pre-testing. So at the start, we see exactly where you are and we build everything out around that. So completely tailored training, nutrition, expenditure, supplementation, all tailored to your goals, lifestyle, and needs. Values aligned, enrollment process. We actually don't enroll anyone. We actually, we work on application only. We have three packages, transform, perform, and executive, always slightly different focuses, but all demanding the very best for yourself just for people with different goals um, and wanting different outcomes effectively. So where we don't just say, yeah, come in and let's set off. We actually will only bring people in who we know we can completely transform a life for and we know you align with our program perfectly. Um, and that's really important. Results focused, but in a sustainable way. Midweek touch points, you've got our support, 24 seven WhatsApp support throughout the week. Um, and then you've got weekly video um, feedback analysis. So all the data we're collecting through the week from your check-in as well on a weekly uh, with your written data, with your images, we then film you a, fi a full video, kind of just like on this with this Loom video, and we film you a full breakdown of exactly what's happened, why everything's happened neurologically, biologically with your body, what we're gonna be updating within your programming to keep us moving at this pace, because it's really important that if we're here, we set this goal for 12 weeks. That's because us at Elect One know we can move you at this pace. So we monitor the data and we amend the programming around the data and give you lifestyle factors we can improve on and programming factors that we're going to tweak and explain exactly why because clarity and education through the process is really important. We give you KPIs, key performance indicator, data tracking. Um, so managing data, what we met, what we monitor, what we measure, uh, we improve on. Um, and then we have a future pacing strategy to keep your vision expanded, to keep you moving forwards, to keep you demanding more from yourself. So guys, by all means, feel free to go away and you can implement stuff. But if you are really looking to level up, you can apply to work with us via the link in my bio on Instagram at Tom D. Pearson or at underscore elect zero one. Or feel free to drop me a message on there drop me a message with the word transform and I'll get back to you with some more information. We can just have a chat in the DMs or if you apply, we'll be on a roadmap call. We can look at where you are right now. We can look at your lifestyle. We can look at genuinely where your goals are. I'll probably challenge you a little bit in terms of where you can get and what I think we should be setting for, from a goal standpoint. Far too many people sat them down here. We can set them here and, and 10X those. So that's all about understanding where you are 
what package might be best for you, what that journey would look like, what would need to be done to guarantee we can get those results with you. So show you the exact roadmap. No obligation to jump into anything, but it's all just about educating you on what you can do, how to do it. And if it is in your best interest, we can obviously look at enrolling you into the team if we have any space at that given time. So guys, appreciate you watching. Uh, I just want to say a big hats off to Connor for the work for the self-development through this process for becoming the man he is, for keeping leveling the fuck up, for inspiring a lot of people um, and going from that hole and now being a role model. And I hope it inspires a lot of people to take action, to invest in themselves um, and, and really take it to that next level because Connor has absolutely killed it as well as everyone else. You know, this video is about Connor and his results specifically, um, but you know, there are hundreds of clients we are working with, we worked with um, as well, um, who are all on this same wave. And just being a part of that community is fucking inspiring in itself from a coach, but also from a client perspective. So guys, appreciate you watching. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to check out the Instagram as well. If you do want some support and you do wanna level the fuck up, drop me a message, transform, or apply to work with us via the link below on YouTube or in my bio on Instagram. See you all soon.